Well, I think today the world of marketing is is in a state of flux. That there are so many different markets, there are so many different routes to market, there are so much going on everywhere, there's information everywhere. The question is, what is going to be the most useful for me? What's the most useful for me in promoting the brands I'm supporting, or I'm representing, or I'm trying to get out there? And actually, how do we create more sales and more activities? And I think somehow, the more that we can find out what's happening, the more that we can see what other people are doing, the more that we can have dialogues with some of the people who are active, and some of the people who are thinking of being active, and some of the stuff which is going to emerge, the more that we can start preparing our own strategy. interesting times in the social media uh, where misinformation is prevalent everywhere so audience uh, you know doesn't believe anything anymore so it's very hard to come out and gain credibility out there with the audience and that is because there are two reasons for that uh, one is uh, the algorithms the algorithm really control what we see as uh, as users of social media platforms uh, and uh, we see that how it created what we know as the filter bubble and I'll be talking about this today as well. And the second reason for that uh, is the prevalent use of bots and in applying AI with bots that create this uh, ecosystem of misinformation about, around people and what we call like micro, micro communities who believe everything that is being tell, told to them. And people actually based on research now know uh, that uh, people trust people more than they trust brands. So how can you break this as a brand, as a product, as a media organization like us and break this barrier so you can reach our audience and build that trust on a personal level? Yeah, well, it's, it's moving extremely fast. Uh, to take an example, if you take um, the daily coverage of television towards 15, 25, it's decreasing by 25% uh, for the last five years, so we have to adapt. Uh, this means that speaking for a public broadcaster being RTBF, we are reorganizing ourselves completely, focusing on publics, uh, analyzing four clusters, and, and uh, as from now on, when we do consider a project, we first identify which is the target, secondly, what is the need, and thirdly, at the end, what is the best media to reach it. And for us, if we have to reach a customer by uh, YouTube, for instance, okay, it doesn't matter. We will reach him by YouTube. We will not force television or, or radio if it is not relevant anymore. So, in summary, the right content to the right target with the right media.